Good morning, everybody. My lawyer strongly recommends me to create a tutorial about the gimbal modes of the Pocket 2. I guess I should follow this recommendation. Therefore, we start with the follow mode direct after the intro. follow mode, you can see it follows all my movements except the horizontal movement, up and down and the pan. And so let's go into the practice part. Okay, let's start with the follow mode in a practical way. I start the Oh, push the record button, bring my pocket to and to a horizontal direction. My camera yeah, looks to the ground. And now I start a moving in a horizontal direction and meanwhile I put it up. And that's how it looks. Let's do another example with the follow mode. Bring my pocket to uh, around 45 degrees to the to looking upwards. Push the camera a little bit down that direction. Push the record button and now I go down with my arms and come into the vertical direction with my hands. And that's how it looked like. The tilt lock mode. You can see the horizontal is locked and also the tilt pan we follow. Let's jump into the practice part. I'm gonna show you how to use it. The tilt lock mode. Most of time I use it for walking shoots. It decreases the bumping effect rapidly because the gimbal um, takes the camera in a horizontal direction. It doesn't take it off completely, but it decreases it rapidly. So on how I use it, I put again, I put my pocket two in two hands. So in, in, in that way, bring it uh, in around 25 degrees to the ground, starting record and do the ninja walk. That doesn't work really well because I made two mistakes. One, choose the wrong cap, not the content creator cap. And the second one, don't move constantly. Let's try another one, a low angle shoot, a low angle shot uh, and a constant walk. The second way, how I use the tilt lock mode is for shoots like that. You can use uh, the extension rod or a selfie stick or use it just from your hands and take just such a shot.
that works a little bit like the movie crane shot because during your movement upwards the camera uh, don't move vertically because the tilt axis is locked. Last but not least the FPV mode and you see now it follows you on every single exit axis. You move it and yeah we start with the practice part and then I gonna show you how to use it. And finally the FPV mode start the shot the shot uh, in 40 degrees 45 around whatever you prefer bring it near to your body hit the record button and bring it 90 degrees to the ground by pushing it away from your body or do it in the opposite way. You can also concentrate on the um, moving from 35 or whatever degree you prefer to uh, 90 degrees movement and shoot it in that way and put the additional movement in the post-production by using dynamic zoom in DaVinci Resolve for example or any other kind of stuff in different other editing softwares. And now finally let's have a look how to switch between the different modes. If you start your Osmo Pocket it will be automatically in the last gimbal setting. So you can choose the gimbal setting by switching up and hitting this small icon follow tilt locked and FP hitting short record button to go back if you use that additional accessory you can only choose by hitting that small button so that's the way how you choose the gimbal mode and for everybody who watched that video up to that point, now you will get a bonus tip. You can connect your mobile phone by using the included handle. In my case, it's a lightning handle. Open the DJI MIMO app. Uh, the connection will start it automatically. And uh, then you can mark any point on your screen like that. And uh, yeah, now I show you how it works in move. And as explained before, you start or you marked uh, a point you will be uh, you will get in the center of your of your image. Start the shot by hitting record and move it around. The gimbal fixed the camera on that point um, which you marked and yeah therefore you get a really nice parallax. That's the bonus tip for today. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it helps you. If you like it, hit any button down below, except the dislike. It doesn't hurt you. That's the truth, I swear.